Now on GMA with that terrifying incident that was caught on camera. Police mistakenly swarming the car of a young black woman, Brittany Gilliam, with her family. A lot of anger this morning about how this was handled by a police department that has had issues in the past. A warning that the video is difficult to watch. Clayton Sandell has that story for us. The sounds of children handcuffed face down on the pavement. This morning prompting a new investigation after Aurora, Colorado police mistakenly believed they'd found a stolen car driven by Brittany Gilliam. To hear four kids scream my name like that is the most heartbreaking thing ever. Gilliam says without warning, officers pointed guns at her, her six-year-old daughter, 12-year-old sister, and two teenage nieces. We're not the criminals here. I can understand if you just drew your gun at me, at, at the adult here, and said, listen, ma'am, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw my gun on you because you're more likely the person that probably stole the vehicle. But the way you did your job with the kids. Here's how police explain the mix-up. In Aurora, automated license plate readers at intersections check for stolen cars. On Sunday, the system alerted dispatchers that Gilliam's car was stolen. But in reality, her car shares a license plate number with the real stolen vehicle, a motorcycle from Montana. The mistake is that um, the officer was going off of what dispatch told him that was confirmed. So he was acting in good faith. The officer started doing investigation on his own to look it into the computer, found that it was not it was not listed as a stolen vehicle. She says she doesn't want an apology, but wants Aurora police to do better. The whole point of you being a police officer is to protect and serve for the people. You did not protect and serve. It's unacceptable. Any way you try to see it. Just last month, three Aurora cops were fired and one quit after posing for pictures making fun of the chokehold used on Elijah McClain. The 23-year-old died last summer after this encounter with police and paramedics. He'd committed no crime. Now, Gilliam tells me she believes she and her family might have been treated differently if they weren't black. Aurora PD has apologized and says they are reviewing their policies and training. Amy. All right, Clayton Sandell, thank you so much. For